our feathered friends it's man's thirst for knowledge that has resulted in his awareness about the living world wings the bird's ability to fly gives it an edge over other animals it helps them to escape from danger catch and find food easily they can build nests at places beyond the reach of other land animals when dinosaurs inhabited the earth small dinosaurs could fly the largest flying reptile was quetzalcoatlus it had a wingspan of 40 feet compare it to the albatross it has a wingspan of 12 feet the largest of any bird observe the wings of these different kinds of flying animals all birds have feathers and wings the big feathers on its wings and tails are called flight feathers these feathers are attached to hollow bones feathers are coated with an oily substance this substance prevents absorption of water by the wings which would make their flying difficult absorbing water will make the feathers heavy and hinder their ability to fly there are strong muscles attached to the bird's wings these are called flight muscles the tail feathers help the bird to change direction during flight when a bird wants to fly it flaps its wings and slowly goes up into the air when it wants to land it puts out its feet spreads its wings and tail to slow down birds like siberian cranes flamingos and swallows fly long distances and are migratory birds ducks and cocks fly short distances kites vultures and eagles fly very high pigeons crows and sparrows fly relatively low beak birds have no teeth they do not chew their food the food they eat goes to the stomach the strong muscles of the stomach grind the food different kinds of birds have different types of beaks a bird's beak tells us what type of food it eats you have learned about birds beaks and their feeding habits the meat eating or carnivorous birds have hard strong and sharp beaks which are curved at the tip they use their beaks to tear the flesh herbivorous birds which feed on grains have short strong cone shaped beaks to pick up grains 
The duck, an omnivore, has a long, flat beak. It uses its beak to eat small insects, fish, and plants in the water. It uses its beak as a strainer. Unique beaks. A pelican has a huge beak. It uses its beak to scoop out fish from water. Its beak is bigger than its stomach. The Australian pelican has the largest beak in the bird kingdom. Its beak is about 50 centimeters long. The kingfisher's beak is like a dagger. It catches fish by diving into water. Although ducks, pelicans and kingfishers feed on fish, all three have different kinds of beaks. They live near water. A bird's beak is extremely sensitive to touch. Birds that probe in the ground for food have extra sensory organs at the tip of the beak. All chicks have an egg tooth on their beaks. They use that to crack open the egg from inside. Feet Different birds have different types of feet. But None of them have more than four toes. Some have three and the ostrich has only two toes. The four-toed birds have different arrangements of toes. In swifts, all four point forward. Most perching birds have three toes pointing in front and one at the back. Parrots have two toes pointing in front and two at the back. Carnivorous birds have strong, sharp and curved claws which helps them to hold their prey firmly while flying. All water birds have webbed feet which makes them efficient paddlers. Our feathered friends Nests Our homes are in a way our nests. The dictionary defines a nest as a place where a bird can safely rest and raise its young. All birds lay eggs and most build nests where they can raise their chicks and shelter them from any harm. Different birds have different nesting habits. Before laying the eggs, the female and the male partner build a nest with grass, twigs and feathers. The nests are usually comfortable as they are lined with grass, moss, leaves or feathers. Have you ever seen any bird build its nest? Especially during the spring season? Watch a sparrow when it is trying to build its nest. See with what care it brings pieces of dry grass, leaves and threads to build the nest. It spends the whole day flying to and fro with pieces of things it finds in its beak. 
the crow makes a very untidy nest. It uses pieces of cloth, string and small pieces of sticks. Pigeons and sparrows build their nests with twigs. They generally build their nests in houses, mostly on ledges on the sides of buildings. Eagles and kites build nests on very tall trees or cliffs because they fly very high. Care of the young After laying the eggs, the bird sits on the eggs to keep them warm. After a few days, the eggs hatch and the baby birds appear. The picture here shows a bird feeding its hungry chicks and a male feeding its partner as she sits hatching the eggs. Have you ever watched this scene? It is very beautiful the way the birds take care of each other and also their young ones.